Eric B's daily vlogs. Usually I'll be in a place like this because there's a view of the Golden Gate Bridge. But with the popularity of the TV show Shogun, I'm here to talk about this monument that was gifted to us during the Edo period of Japan. So we'll talk about this more on the other side of the break. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Put out a little longer vlog the other day, I was at Fort Point. So I decided, let that 30 minute vlog sit in, caught up with Shogun. And this little monument right here inspired me to come out here to share the little history, the ties that San Francisco and Japan had back in the 1800s, during the Edo period of Japan. So we'll go dive in and talk about this monument, when it was gifted to us, and what this has to do with the TV show Shogun. So let's go talk about this. Let's go. Let's go. This was gifted to us by Japan, the naval ship, March 1860, March 17th, 1860. And it came because the first Japanese naval ship made the coast of San Francisco and it was during the time of the Edo period, which the period between 1603 and 1868. And the reason why I said Shogun, the TV show Shogun, because this was during the, again, the Edo period, also known as the Tokugawa period, which in the TV show Shogun is Toranaga. They changed the name to Toranaga. So probably wasn't alive during the 18, during 1860s because the TV show takes place in the 1600s, but it has to be from the Toronaga clan or the Tokugawa clan, which is based off Toronaga. And this is a cool piece of history during the Edo period that's sitting here in the San Francisco Lincoln Park area. And if you just pan a little bit to the left, right over there, just imagine the naval ship coming from over there. In the back there is a little monument and it talks about the monuments being erected to commemorate the arrival of the first Japanese naval ship, the Kanrin Maru, that hit the San Francisco Bay on 17th March 1860. And again it's during that Edo period where they gifted this to us. There was a few times that I came here and there was graffiti all over here and it's nice to see the park and wrecks clean it up but it would nice it would be nicer if they fix it up just a little bit so we can see more of what it says. Usually I'll be talking about the bridge right over there but today I'm talking about the gift that was given to San Franciscans Remember, San Francisco was established in 1776 and 1800, 1860. There was this cool little gift that Japan gifted us for, you know, being here and to commemorate this area right here because, again, it overlooks the bay over there or the entrance to the Golden Gate. And when I was over at Ford Point, which is below the Golden Gate Bridge over there, um, there was... You know, again, that was in like the 1800s also during the Civil War. So for this to be here, to commemorate the first Japanese naval ship. We all know the history of Japan. We all know what happened during, you know, that time. And, you know, Pearl Harbor, all that stuff. But for this to be here, for us to have a bond with Japan, is pretty cool. I think it is. I've done plenty of vlogs over here. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Golf Course to talk about the different histories that happen here. You have the Holocaust Museum just up there, the Legion of Honor 
just up there. But this monument that sits here, to me, is, is priceless. There is a smaller dedication on the ground. San Francisco with the sister city of Osaka as a token of its desire to further, further the strengthen. Can't really read it. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty crazy. But you can go ahead and pause and read that. But this was erected May 17th, 1960. Presented to San Francisco. That's cool right there. And then again, if I turn around this way, you got that with the Golden Gate Bridge right behind it over there. The very first time I was here and I talked about this monument, I got ripped on YouTube. You guys were saying that was not from the Edo period. Nobody brought that over. No, I didn't say it was brought over during the Edo period. I'm saying this is a monument to comm commemorate the first naval ship that was seen off the coast of San Francisco. So this whole thing is from Japan. It wasn't from the Edo period. It was during the probably the 50s is when they brought this 50s to the 60s because again it was erected in 1960. But it was during the Edo period that the ship was found off the coast of San Francisco over there. And this right here is just a monument to remember the day that the ship did cross over. So for you guys who ripped me the very first time that I was here, shame on you, but I'm used to it. It's whatever, haters gonna hate, haters can hate, but this right here to me is really cool. I hear the sound of the birds. Then over there in the distance, I hear the sound of one of the foghorns. But to actually sit here and just hear the birds over this peaceful monument. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. It brings peace, just seeing this monument, like good inner peace. It's kind of like a Zen. Again, a cool part of San Francisco that if you're here, you hike this Land's End Trail, which is right below us right now. You make your way to the Legion of Honor, which is right behind me. You'll see this. You'll stumble upon it. Some people look at it as just a big piece of stone, granite. Some people actually come down and read the dedication. But some people don't realize the significant, significant friendship pre Pearl Harbor that Japanese, Japan, Osaka, 
and San Francisco had. And it's right here for us to see. Not as windy here as it was when I was over at Fort Point. That one, I was struggling a lot with the wind and I had to adjust the audio to where you could only hear my voice and not the wind. So it's the magic of editing that you have that you can do when you're, when you're vlogging or editing. But to me, this right here, again, cool part of history. And the reason why I came out here today is because again, TV show Shogun, you know, came out of the 80s. Mom and dad watched it. Richard Chamberlain was the man back in the 80s. And then now with um, Toronaga, who's played by uh, Hokori Sanada, you know, is well known for John Wick, 47 Ronin, um, The Last Samurai. He definitely took this show and made it a lot better for the newer age people to watch. And then to have this piece of Japanese dedication to honor what the men of the Karin Maru did in the 1800s, sail all the way from Japan to the San Francisco coast, right over here, right behind us. And if you guys watch Shogun, there's a significant reason why it took that long. Again, Shogun took place in the 1600s, and for them to make it here in the 1800s, there's a reason why it took that long for them to get here. I'm glad they did. And again, to have this right here, with a Golden Gate Bridge right there in the background. It's priceless. To me, it's priceless. Kind of wish there wasn't a lot of cars revving up their engines. You don't know how many videos I had to stop, delete, just because they were revving their engine in the middle of me speaking. But it is a spot to sit here and just unwind and chill. And I like it. I enjoy it should make it happy to come out here maybe once, twice a month just to reflect. I kind of wish they made that right there into a Zen garden. You know, but, you know, with this being a heavy foot traffic area, people walking their dogs, it's going to take a lot of maintenance for them to do that. And the Japanese tea garden, easy to maintain here with people graffitiing open to the public it'll be hard to maintain so I'll take it the way it is I like it you got one good view right here and then if I just walk just a little bit further this way you got all of the Presidio golf course right over there not all of it it's the bottom half right there Pacific Ocean is that big white that you see in the background it is overcast and as I turn right here, let's just do a quick proper zoom right there. You got the Golden Gate Bridge. Marin Headlands, I said that before. And to the right of that Golden Gate Bridge is Fort Point. And that's where I was not that long ago. But again, I'm here because of the gift from Osaka. Pretty cool. I don't know how much it's gonna cost to get that restored, but if they'll let me do it for free, just tell me what I need to do, I will do it. Tarnish, can't even see the writing of the Japanese letters and even the English wording you can't see. I do it, I do it for free. All right, one last look. Again, gifted in the 19 in 1960, the first ship to sail the Pacific to the San Francisco Bay. And as a token of their friendship, Osaka decided to gift us this monument to commemorate the goodwill and the friendship that San Francisco and Osaka had. And again, you guys know your history. You know what happened then, after that. But I think this is a cool piece of monument. Show how peaceful it is. I like it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this today's vlog. A little shorter vlog than I did 
not that long ago over at Fort Point. That one, I just went crazy. And the reason why I went crazy is it was the first time that I was in there for a while. So I try to get as much as I can. But then when I was editing, I was like, oh my God, this is a 30 minute vlog. So I apologize for that long vlog. I try to keep it short within 20, 25 minutes, maybe even shorter, but I had to come out, had to show you guys this right here. If you guys aren't caught up in Shogun, I didn't give you guys any t you know, spoilers, didn't talk about the movie at all, but it's definitely something you should watch. This right here is a cool piece of San Francisco history. Can't even speak. Tongue twisted, tongue tied. That's what I am. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have to share you know if you guys like the movie if you like the monument right here let me know i like it i enjoy it a lot but again give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment subscribe leave me comments down below just unwinding it's a cool, cool place to come if you're having a bad day at work you just want to relax see all the cars that are sitting here there's people in there some of them are sleeping some of them are relaxing some of them are reading a book some of them just has their window rolled down because they just want to hear the foghorns over there i'd be sitting right here in front just because i'd want to check it out i like it thumbs up like comment subscribe leave me comments down below here from uh, legion of honor area lands in the monument right here thanks for watching guys vlogs ended go in peace the view of the bridge over there i will never get tired of never get tired of but the Karin Maru Memorial, it's another view I can never get tired of. And to have them side by side like that, I think it's magical. It's breathtaking. It's cool. I made this.